Welcome back. It is the face of Friday night. Peter Kibazo, Charles Romshana, and David Puko. And uh, we are interrogating the possibility of peace, resolving conflict, and not just the Ruenzori Kasese conflict, but we are looking at Uganda. Because the Ruenzori Kasese conflict has been where Puko comes from. There was a time when the rustlers in uh, the place where David comes from had actually made the Karamoja totally ungovernable. Yes, mm. Karamoja got to a point when uh, the Karamojong had more guns than the government would know. No one knows where they would buy them from or where they would uh, sell them to. Then you had northern Uganda that fell into Tatars that we haven't actually totally rehabilitated, both in human terms and in physical terms of the territory. Then you have Kasese Ruenzori but, but there, that falls boss, back and in and boss, out. If you had a group that is not conscious, that is unconscious, mm. and it was to overthrow Mr. Museveni by use of force, you would have mayhem in Angola. Because you don't want to imagine the proliferation of guns in that region. I hope it isn't as bad as Karamoja. It's worse than Northern Uganda and Karamoja. David, I was asking, where are the peaceful solutions? Let me take this caller first. Hello? Boom. Okay. I, I actually, I think, must have pressed the cart instead of the pick. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Chivazo, good evening. Good evening to you. Your name, question, or comment, and do that first. Um, I'm calling from Chenjojo. How is Chenjojo? Chenjojo is fine. Please go right ahead. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Talk to us. Don't wait to hear us. Just talk to us. Yeah, it's uh, the, the issue of us using a conflict, uh, a, 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 a means of getting a, a resolution is, you, it's uh, the equivalent of us saying that the, the kite can go and resolve the conflict among us, the chicken. Because Mr. M7, who is the father, is not ready for what? For peace. This has been explained several times. And they want the youth ready that you see you will be killed. So I don't believe that there will be peace in Uganda. Maybe if the highest to be pursued. Because one man, I want to quote Martin Luther King, said that the, the, the place where to die is just us leaving other issues that matter to go silent. Like most people have done, our elders, people are already were in them that are keeping quiet, they are eating. Then what we wonder is what is left for Uganda. Uganda shall list me. Maybe we should come out as Ugandans, see out our hearts. Because our. Thank you. Uh, he doesn't believe that uh, the current regime or the president can preside over a peaceful resolution of. Uh, the ruins or but well he is the sitting president of uganda and uh, you need to engage with him if there is dialogue it has to have the government of the day uh, hello hello yes good evening good evening how are you doing we are good your name number one i have a feeling that uh, the government at the moment has no much interest in what is going on in the around the country like in Wundubujo, in Wundubujo and other uh, the other areas. We are such a Um, he thinks that the government is actually handling the situation shabby. He thinks that government is short on interest on the issues of the area. Uh, hello? Hello. Yes, good evening. How are you? We are well. Your name, question or comment? I'm calling from Kasese. I'm calling this. Yes. 
can say it's a, we actually love peace. Mm. And we don't feel happy when we see our brothers like hippos. Actually, what we need to do is to and make a reconciliation among our friends. Also, the other issues that we never the president the can say that sometimes we need one side. So, on so doing, you find people starting trying to kill themselves, and maybe we don't know what the president is talking with these people. The other thing is that uh, our grand grandparents, when they started the Rangaroo movement, mm. they actually formed a state before Uganda got independent. So they declared a state. And that state is that was grabbed by the colonial masters, which was taken by Congo and Uganda. So in so doing, getting for the Iraq. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, goes back into the historic perspective of the conflict into the ru in the Ruenzori. And uh, that's what I was telling Charles earlier, that those notions of statehood, can we solve them? We'll take one more. Hello? Yes, Peter. Yes, Ndugu. Good, uh, good evening. It's not yet morning. Uh, good, good evening. Good morning for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes. It seems like a morning. Yes, go right ahead. This is Kato Kawesa. I'm calling from Bwai. Yes. Yeah, I just want to salute uh, Mr. Puricoli and uh, my plaza. Uh, but uh, uh, my comment is, mm. as you see these days, as I told you last time, Mr. Tibazo, Kashese need serious, serious, I, I don't know how I can relate it, because peace, Tibazo peace, is more important to our country. But if we, I, I saw Mr. That, that King, uh, uh, Mr. 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 Who? Mumbere. Uh, um, Omusinga. Yes. The way how we address uh, the, the, the media, it seems that there is uh, something behind that what, that what happened. So for me, I request Omusinga uh, with, uh, with the government to see what is behind that uh, chaos. Kato Kawesa. Thank you, Kato. And thank you very much, everyone, that called into the show. Gentlemen, just aggregate the comments that you're hearing from the people, measure the tempo, give me a quick comment, and then I'll move uh, to get your opinion on one other issue. The, the, the question of talks from our friend, Mr. Chibuda in Kenjuju, mm. and the, the DNA mm. of Mr. Seven is not about peaceful resolution of conflict. That is his DNA. He can only talk to you when he has subdued you. He can only talk to you when you have surrendered. At a policy level... You're talking about a president that had talks with the LRA in, in spite of his will, I'm, that had talks with uh, Lutua. Mm. What happened with Lutua? They talked to Nairobi, signed an agreement before Mzaimoi, and Lutua was ejected. A very huge cost. Uh, what, what happened to Irara, eh? Arrangement was first get out of northern Uganda and we talk. Mm -hmm. Assemble in Lukwamba and uh, Garamba, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, when they assembled there, instead of talking, what happened? He bombed them and called it lightning, sun or sun lightning. Um, uh, that, that happened after the talks had failed. Charles, be fair. Yeah, but, uh, but you see, it, 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 the, the, the whole thinking was get out of here and I bomb you from somewhere else. By the way, let me tell you, Mr. I Shibazo. would disagree. Uh -huh. All the protocols have been negotiated. Uh -huh. It was only remaining the final signature. Uh -huh. Mr. Shibazo. That never happened. Mr. Shibazo, which, can, uh, no, which country that you have not negotiated with that you would say you are dissident should go and assemble there? Have you ever had that kind of... I don't want to use the word arrogance, but which other word can I use which is more diplomatic? You know, more diplomatic. <laughs> uh, that you go and assemble in Kong. How would you call that territory? The Mugana will ask you, yeah, yeah, how? <laughs> but you see, you, you, you are a president of okay. Uganda. Co complete this. Complete so, this. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, so you are either beaten, you surrender, and then you talk. You mm. negotiate your surrender. Or 
the policy, the official policy is that you should renounce violence mm. and you are forgiven. That's called amnesty. That is the official position. This does not address the grievance. Our official policy at reconciliation is that you, Chivazo, who is the dissenting, surrender and is forgiven, and you are forgiven. But you don't have a policy. The policy does not include asking you why you went to violence in the first place. And you know you can never talk of substantive peace talks or resolution of conflict by peaceful means if you don't address the grievances that culminated into uh, uh, grievances, into, into armed. Uh, uh, and that's why it's sorry is a cycle. David. Now, I think, citizens, you need to look at peace and justice. These are two sides of the same coin. On this side is peace, the other side is justice. So can you have justice without peace? Can you have peace without justice? So if you have peace, it means the guns have just gone silent. When the guns go silent, the situation becomes calm. And some people mis misinterpret that to be peace. But if you have not addressed the injustices that created that problem in the first place, or if you can continue committing more injustices, then you are actually undermining your own peace. So it's very important to see the two as the same. Like now people have gone to court. That's good, seeking for justice. So nobody should undermine that process. We should allow that process to succeed. But roadblocks administratively what are being put in place to defeat justice. Now, but thank goodness the justices on their own are, are executing that in a very <laughs> difficult way. I would imagine even the pressures they might be. Because by now that court would have been surrounded with tanks. But thank goodness, maybe because... Well, the tanks are at CPS, maybe, they are not at court. Maybe the evidence which would have gone, which would have made the tanks to surround was stolen okay, <laughs> at, at source. Uh, uh, and they left things there when they were breaking those places. That's why we're able to say so-and-so was here, because we know what pieces of evidence we found there. But uh, uh, that's for another day. So peace and justice. So that region of Kasese, Renzori, has been a lot of accumulated injustices. And that's why anybody who goes there needs to solve the problem in such a way that you don't, again, add more injustice. That's, that's what I'm saying, Mr. My, my brother, on, like on the case of Bamuze. Mm. You, you negotiated with Bam, Bamuze. Mm. A and David was involved. A surrender. I'm looking at government. Yes. As a surrender. Mm. Did you address the privilege the previous? I have is I have a David no. that was part I'm, of I'm the process. Process. But yes. did you also discuss the grievances mm. that took those with Snyders and Abamuze to the What bush? do you negotiate? And, and I thought that when you come to negotiate at the table, mm. we say, okay, we are here because of reason A, B, C, D, Z. So you address the following, the following. I followed the uh, React Russia uh, group. Uh, that's the different. Um, the only one Panama that has group. gone to issues is LRA. Mm. Yeah, under, under the mediation of Chisano. But these others is that we are willing to forgive you. You come back. Like the July one in, uh. in 2014 or 2015. This one in, again, Bundibujo, Kasese, and mm. uh, areas of Fort Porto there. That eruption. Now, government was quick to say, pardon, amnesty, before even discussing. <laughs> and then for those in Kasese, you forgive those ones in Bundibujo and Toroko. Now, when it came to Kasese, court martial, uh, okay? And up to now, some people are still meeting the problem of court martial, that Kansas area there. So, I mean, anyway, uh, I think... Uh, don't, don't cry like no, I'm, cry. <laughs> I'm saying there's a, a carpenter thinks every problem is a nail. So a carpenter comes with a <laughs> hammer. A hammer. <laughs> and therefore wants to hammer. Now, a soldier thinks every problem, like Mr. Vene, every, every problem is, is, is a gun. And therefore, the solution is uh, AK-47. AK-47 plus. Actually, someone then, says someone says that every political issue is a law enforcement issue. Now, if you remove police today, and uh, in Kampala, in what and so forth, what will you have? You know, these people are conditioning us to live positively with dictatorship, <laughs> with militarism, like you live uh, positively with HIV/AIDS. Taking IRVs like tear gas once in a while, you know that type of thing. <laughs> Do we want to live in that situation? So, so I think the point I'm making here is that I think let's get back, let's trace back, and, and let our leadership become sober, and let them use more, give give peace a chance, use peaceful means, and military should be last resort. But Thank these you. days it is only military first, and then you see now he traces his steps back to meet with Mumbere, and then they agree we need to bring. A, a, an independent inquiry, but it should have begun there first. 
Thank you, David. Uh, by the way, I've been I'm, calling I'm for an inquiry. And we need an inquiry by AU or mm -hmm. by UN, no. not this one. We can do an inquiry. Maybe you can even bring uh -huh. Scotland here to uh -huh. investigate this. We can ask Sebuti in the back. Yes. No, an inquiry. Uh, an inquiry. Because if, if Museveni can uh, send an inquiry team to Burundi. Kuruziza's group and for the same results, the same effect, same action, now, I think it is time for others to send an yeah, investigation. Yeah. should send one I here. I think now, yeah. because... Yeah. Chaz and, and David, we are getting out of here in a very short while. But uh, you were talking peace and peaceful coexistence. And I just need to ask uh, two things. One of them has nothing to do with peace. Possibly it has on, in the long run. But uh, the first one is uh, Kiza Besige. Mm. I have seen Daudi Mpanga uh, saying that actually Kiza Besige was effectively arrested on the election day. And until now, even the courts have failed to resolve. I saw the poor judge at, uh, what is that place, Kasangati. And I felt sorry for her. You know, she was finding reason why not to hear and resolve the case. And then she said, oh, today actually the lawyers, uh, the law society is supposed to be meeting somewhere. Therefore, I'm adjourning so that you can go. But the lawyers have presented themselves in front of you and they're <coughs> saying, we have a case here, resolve it. And she's saying, no, I would like to allow you time to go. So come back another time. But the case of Kiza Besige, does it inflare peace? Does it, is it resolvable by peace? I saw the Jesse RC and the Elders Council saying, give us opportunity to resolve this. Is it a question of justice? Is it a question of rebellion? And then the final one, as you get out, uh, there is gossip in Chankwanzi, and I want to call it gossip. Uh, you, I would like to comment about the gossip of uh, the seven years uh, term like uh, is no in the neighbor. Speaker. And then you, I would like you to comment about the gossip of the speaker. I may want the speaker. <laughs> Why the speaker? I yeah, knew what you wanted. Yeah, want <laughs> but first of all, <laughs> yes. first of all, both of them. It is very unfortunate that Kisa Besije, one of us, a Ugandan like you and me, uh, who is guaranteed by the constitution, is extracted out of Uganda constitution and treated in such a manner. And then you find there's bishops, uh, the bishops, the safety group leaders who always welcome Museveni, and everybody is quiet. Is it the Pajeros? Is it the khaki envelopes? Why are people not talking about how can civil we allow society as well. civil society? What? So this is totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable that you turn somebody's home into a prison. Uh, and then you do this. If you, if you, if this true, there is a book at the gate. The police will dictate who and visits the cameras him, and when. who's going in, who's coming out. Why don't you take him then official to prison? Why don't you go and charge him formally? At least that, that's what the constitution says. So why, how can this be allowed to go on like this? Mm -hmm. uh, and how can it happen when all of us are here? Honestly, I think that is totally unacceptable. The second thing is so that whoever is responsible for this needs to feel ashamed of himself. Do, you, do to others what you want them to do to you. I don't think the first lady wants this to be done to her husband. But sh why are you a first lady? Why can't you tell your husband whether in the why, bedroom? Why, why do you address the first Listen, lady? Listen, because mothers are mothers. My own mother. So I don't see her as an MP for Ntungamu. I don't see her as a minister for Karamoja Affairs. I see her first and foremost as a mother who has got children. That Besige is one of her sons. Please, other mothers, please. Mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to bring this to an end. Uh, and, uh, and then come to the Chankwansi gossip. Mm. The, the Chankwansi gossip. Wh which, which one are you dealing with? Are you dealing with the speaker? Are you dealing with the uh, seven year? I think now, speaker, of course I know the story of what <laughs> happened in, in, in Omoro, mm. where the, 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 the returning officer just announced Olanya is one. Olanya did not even know uh, by how many. Even Reagan had to be announced that way to cover for Olanya. They didn't even mention the number of votes he had got. I've just seen the Gazette that he got 8,000. 8, <laughs> but really on the ground, on the day of announcing, it was so shameful. But nonetheless, this is a, this is a man who sings praises to mm -hmm. Uncle. And therefore, Uncle may be eyeing him for the next speaker. And then... No, 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 not uh, the former head of the UN. Uh, well, I uh, understand that one is also coming. And I think uh, my brother here would say, if you are going to give it to Kutesa, then I think he... Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think Janet also 
Right, why are you staying away? Because I'm. <laughs> you had me say somewhere. Yeah, but for you, you're going to, to, <laughs> you to comment on what. Why are you doing me say it? But you refuse to comment on this one. I'm going to comment on this one. Just wrong. Just wrong. Why is it going to be my example? And that is the problem with the fellows who have got wrong from next. Now, let me go to. Do your seven. Mr. Museveni. Uh, and vis-a-vis Mr. Chiza Vesic, very briefly. It's difficult to do mm. it briefly, but I will try. Mm. When he asked his regulator, he says, ha, huh, I thought twice about the Amin soldiers when they were moving to us and I lost my friends. I should have shot. In other words, he's saying, I made a mistake to have thought twice. Mm. Now, Mr. Vesic threatened uh, with Chigualero with defiance and Mr. Seven won't think twice because he has told you he will never again think twice to regulate and I'm not surprised he has not done what he should have done to the other ones but um, uh, in this instant case you have in the South Sudan scenario because by the way if you are talking about taking our power from Mr. Seven, never joke never joke never tell Mr. Seven I will shoot you when he knows you now will shoot he won't take it as a joke. And if you read the affidavits in this uh, case, because they are now official documents, mm. of Mr. Kare Kaiura and the, the head of intelligence, Ms. Kanon Daura, they are very clear All that... Are you PDF, but... Uh, 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 Daura. They are very clear, as head of intelligence, they are very clear that Mr. Vestige was organizing insurgency. Back that was, is their opinion. No, no, it, it's now official. But and and they have a, said, uh, look, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. That's their intelligence, and they have swore before they have taken oath mm. to say it. It's now part of record. Now, I wouldn't take them for a joke. I would rather say that they won't allow the South, they will not let the South Sudan scenario where Riyak moved away from their hands and they arrested the others, the barons, the Gun Moon, uh, 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 and the others. Riyak, sorry, Garang's wife and, and ETC. Here they have him. Do let the other one you say it be done when we have you. And they have him by the way, we want to breathe. They have him. And, and therefore, we want to go into the semantics. It won't help uh, 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 because they are, they are stuck on, on him. The way out, it can't be through the law. Because I don't want to think that they have any feelings of the law when it comes to handling Mr. Mr. Vesige. Because he, because he has ever escaped. He went to South Africa, you remember? We're and he there. said, I have been able to run out from you. So Give me a comment on the speaker. On the speaker, they want it to the family. That's why they want Mr. Sam Kutes. And I'm saying, let them amend the constitution to provide that the first lady become, is a member of parliament and then she's also voted as a deputy speaker. So <laughs> the whole thing becomes a <laughs> holy for the, fam for the family. <laughs> Hallelujah. <Quenda Uko. laughs> of course, that is the conspiracy, Charles. Uh, viewers, it's... It's a pleasure always being but here. But you will be surprised. It's, a, it's a pleasure always to be here. And uh, I'm glad we're here and we're back. And thank you very much. And good night.